Hello traders, c'est le titre de la vidéo et son ordinaire stochastique trader révèle les secrets of a specific of a bot a stochastique. Let's get started, all right? So there is a specific of a bot a stochastic trading setup that usually occur after a breakout. We have one here. And uh, that uh, overbought stochastic sometimes can give uh, stochastic traders a lot of a headache, so to speak. All right. So here we are, the stochastic 833 is overbought at the time when we have a breakout, a bullish breakout. So this is a specific overbought stochastic, and you want to know how to trade it. Otherwise, uh, you can be in trouble. There was one here earlier on, which you can see in this session here. Uh, this is again uh, that uh, specific overbought stochastic at a time when we have a breakout, a bullish breakout. So the bullish traders are, are, are pushing the price up and the stochastic becomes over, overbought for the first time. And sometimes stochastic traders do not know how to handle that. Today, I will reveal to you the secrets, okay, the secret of uh, a specific overbought stochastic, in this case, the overbought stochastic that occur after a breakout. So, here we are. So, we see a breakout here. This is uh, a, a, a real-time scenario, uh, talking about a situation that is real, uh, looking at Marriott International, Class 8 stock, Epic M. A R Mike Alpha Romeo. This is an American stock. All right. So we see a breakout here above uh, this uh, resistance level here, and our stochastic it becomes overbought for the first time. So here it is. All right. If you see that specific uh, overbought stochastic, or if you identify, if you recognize it, what you need to do, you need to use uh, three things you use a pitfork tool that's the first thing you want to use fibonacci extension and you want to use a top down trading method i will say one time again and i will not say too much use the pitfork tool use fibonacci extension and implement a different time frame trading method or a top down trading method you can see price start going up here in this session. What I'm going to do, I'm going to apply my my pitfork tool. We need three points to draw the pitfork tool. Here we are. Going to apply pitfork tool very fast. Okay. Right there. So now that we have applied our Fibonacci extension to that uh, specific overbought stochastic that is pointing to us a resistance level, so the question is which resistance the stochastic is pointing to us? Hold on, please, traders. Just to adjust some lines here so that they are not uh, blocking your view. Okay, three days. So, which resistance is the stochastic pointing to us here? Now that we draw, we have drawn our pitfork tool. The resistance that the stochastic is pointing to us here is the media line of the upper half. It's the upper half of our pitfork tool. Is that the media line? So that's the resistance that the stochastic is pointing to us. So now that we apply the pitfork tool, it's clear to us that the stochastic is pointing to other resistance level. But if you analyze the chart very well, though we have a bullish breakout, the prior also breaks above the media line of the pitfork tool. So the ultimate role of the pitfork tool is to determine the possible path that the prior is likely to take. All right? But now, if the prior is on the upper half of the pitfork tool, 
is the bullish zone, the best place. It's bullish, very, very bullish. So if it stays as it is now above the media line or the P42, now you see now, though we see a bearish candlestick bar, we are sitting, so to speak, on the edge of that media line of our P42, this one here. The media line of the bigger P42, I'm not talking about the, the media line of the upper half. I'm talking about the media line or the P42 itself. That's where we are now. So in this scenario, you can see that it's tricky to sell here, yes or no. Because it just pulled back to retest the media line. Some trader will be trying to buy here to push it back up at the time when you want to sell. All right? Okay? So draw your pitch for two. Highlight the media line of each house and see exactly where you are. You want to sell? You want to sell at a resistance level. Well, so it's tricky here. So here, if you want to sell, we prefer break below that media line, retest, and turn around. Or, okay, I'll leave that one out for now, and we'll come back to you in a minute. So one thing you can do, talking about the secrets of a specific overbought stochastic, meaning the stochastic overbought, at a breakout point, use the pitchfork tool. The next thing that we will use is what? The Fibonacci extension. So tell them, say, George, you just, uh, okay, mixing them, talking about the same thing all the time. It's not the same thing, all right? So we draw the Fibonacci extension again. We we'll watch which level. Look carefully. It's a very, very interesting scenario, and I want you to pay attention to it carefully, my friend. All right. We watch the level of 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. Look what's happening here. That's the red line there. So we have the stochastic overboard. Are you paying attention now, my friend? We have a breakout, a bullish breakout. When the stochastic is overboard, we draw our pitchfork two. We can see that we are at the support level. The next thing that we do, we draw the Fibonacci extension. You can see now again, one more time, we have another information. The price breaks above that one three eight point two percent level. It's now retesting it, and we have the intersection between the one three eight point two percent level and okay, the media line or the pitchfork two. As I told today before, the intersection of any part of the pitchfork 2 and any horizontal key level is what? A hot spot, a trading zone. Huh? So this intersection here is a hot spot trading zone. That's it. That is a hot spot trading zone. All right. Making it like looks like a candle C bar. Okay, then we fire. Alright. Alright. So now we see that we are the price breaks above the one three eight point two percent level. It's retesting it here. We are also above the media line. We will say to trade priority to bullish signal above that hot spot trading zone and priority to bear signal below it. But if you did not draw the pitch for two. And you did not draw the, the Fibonacci extension for this Marriott International Corporation that we are analyzing today. You know that you will be gagging or you will be rushing to sell just because the stochastic is overbought. The last thing, talking about the secrets of a specific overbought stochastic trading, is to use just a top down trading method different time frame a trading method so because we are the monthly chart we know we are we want to give priority below the red line of hundred dollar ninety two it's a support zone here so people saw the one two three minimum price move is free now we see on a daily chart that those who sold it at the top okay push it back down from a lower high here so if you you need to understand that we have a minimum price move is free in this case okay a small triangle is here now anything is possible on a daily chart okay. go back up 
or come back down? Or is there a signal yet? Yes, there was one. You can see this level here, probably from a head and shoulder chart pattern on the daily chart. You can't deny it. And the common center line here. Oops, I move a line. Oops, move it away. And the common center line here is kaput. So, yes, you may sell after that. Go into the hourly temporary to sell. But as you are selling, if you are not aware of that level, we are at a hot spot ready zone. Be careful. There is a triangle here right now. Personally, I'll hold it, hold it until I see another clear cut signal before I will buy because the price now at the support level right here. On a daily chart, one more time, if we draw a trend like this, you see the support, low, high, low, high, low, we are also retesting uh, that uh, trend line. So priority to bullish signal above the 100 level, and priority to bear signal below that uh, hot spot trading zone. So talking about an ordinary stochastic trader reveal a secret of a specific overbought stochastic trading. When the stochastic is overbought, and we have a bullish breakout, one must use first the pitchfork tool and highlight the median line of each half of the pitchfork tool. Then one will draw the Fibonacci extension to the prior bullish move, okay, and highlight the 138.2% Fibonacci extension levels. Prior to bullish signal above that Fibonacci extension level, and prior to bear signal below it, paying attention to the Pitchfork 2 lines. The third thing that we can do to trade that specific overbought stochastic uh, trading setup that usually occur after a bullish breakout is to use a different time frame uh, trading method. So you may say to me, George, what has happened here when we were here before? You see here, in this session here, all right? You can see if you were here, you will see that at the time when the breakout was occurring here, because there was a resistance here, if I choose, uh, if, you, if you think this, this is, those that were resistant here, you see, those were resistant here, stochastic became overbought. Let's put a vertical line there so you can see it, it became overbought right here for the first time where I placed my vertical line, but that is, was also corresponding to a breakout zone. But this one is not too bad because there, there is another resistance ahead. This one here. All right? So it's not a bad place, all right? But then, in that case, all right, you need to, again, all right? So you can see that the price went up, and then from this V here, now we have a breakout. You can apply Fibonacci. Uh, extension to this move, this move here, all right, and apply P for two, this session here, first point, second point, third point, and you apply the Fibonacci, uh, the P for two to that session, all right. Am I talking to myself? Okay, that will be your P for two right there. So price was bouncing to retest. So he was below it, carefully retesting it here, okay, on the edge, below it, all right? Also corresponding to this resistance level, okay, we can put that line there, all right? So you will say priority to bullish signal above and priority to bearish signal below. And you will also apply the Fibonacci extensions to this move here. And you will be highlighting which level? The 138.2% of which is just above the previous resistance level. Okay, just a little bit above it. That's the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level to this one here. All right? And you'll be saying priority to bear signal below and priority to bullish signal above. So, pitchfork 2, Fibonacci extension. The last one is what? 
top-down trading method. So now that you start applying a top-down trading method, you will see that there's no much signal happening here, or probably the signal has failed, and you know that it's going to run away. So the same thing is happening here, handle it, pitchfork tool, Fibonacci extension, top-down trading method. This is about an ordinary, okay, a stochastic trader reveal the secrets of a specific overbought stochastic trading setup. Have any question or suggestion? Put it in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If you find this video truly, truly useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that it's another useless video, let us know by giving us the thumbs down. If you think that this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google+, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders, talking about an ordinary stochastic trader reveals the secret of a specific overbought stochastic. Happy trading to you all, and speak to you soon.